Hi, this is Elliot Haspel, and welcome to another edition of Best Practices Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about a creative way to teach fluency, and this is through uh, an activity called Fluency Idol, and this comes from an article on The Reading Teacher, in which two university professors and a second grade teacher thought about creative ways to use performance to boost their students' uh, reading fluency. And so, Essentially, the idea here, Fluency Idol, of course, a playoff of American Idol, uh, basically the idea is that you're giving students the opportunity to perform some sort of reading, in this case a poem, for their classmates, potentially their families, and the fact that having this as a goal gives students a real motivation, a real purpose, a real excitement around uh, practicing reading out loud, which is something that many struggling readers especially might not be so comfortable with. And so uh, there are four components to doing a fluency idol type of activity, uh, and it starts with selecting the poem, which means the teachers and the students together choose a high interest poem for each student can do their own. Uh, you can do this with fiction passages also, poems just happen to, to work well. Um, second, to make sure there's practicing the poem, and I'll go more into detail about this soon. Um, so poems are practiced throughout the week in multiple ways, in pairs, at home with the teacher about performing the poem. So every Friday they get their poems on Monday and on Fridays uh, three students apiece perform their poem. They use a toy microphone, all of that. Um, and performances are recorded. You can do this with your computer, with a flip cam, um, so that students' families can see. And then there's also this piece of And the Winner Is, where all the students cast secret ballots for the performer that they thought had the best fluency, uh, but regardless all students receive a certificate for participation. Now, this is a neat idea, of course, it's just a nice activity, but the authors did do a, do a study uh, using the Fluency Idol. They gave a pre-test and a post-test on fluency and actually saw a significant and measurable impact um, on students' fluency in just a couple of uh, sort of eight weeks, you know, two month type of period. And they were doing this over the summer, but you can also do this during the, e during the year um, It's as part of your weekly routine. A few tips to make sure this is really uh, an effective teaching tool and not just sort of a fun activity. Um, one is that students need multiple opportunities to practice in different ways. So there should be opportunities to hear modeling about reading out loud and about reading with expression, etc. Um, choral reading, reading as a group, echo reading, reading back to someone who's reading it effectively. Um, moreover, the practice needs to happen in a way that students can receive targeted feedback. So not just like, that was great, or not nah, try that again, but rather, in this part of the poem, you know, you need to, you read it very flat, so this next time let's try making our voice go up and down. Or, that was really soft, next time try reading it, you know, louder. And they need targeted feedback, and they also need times um, when they can practice on their own. The targeted feedback can come from multiple sources. Uh, you know, you can get creative again if you can bring in parent volunteers to listen. Um, this study involved a couple of undergraduate interns and also actually reading therapy dogs, which if you Google that, you can find a couple of organizations that provide that. Um, and again, parents can be really useful uh, sort of uh, aids here as well. Um, and then, also, make sure the students have the opportunity to practice on their own. So it's not just in, in pe with another person, but that they're getting a chance to independently practice as well once they've gotten it down, once they're able to master it. And then, you know, during the Fluency Idol performance, really they have to say, make this fun, play up the theater of it. You know, bring up, make a banner, create a, you know, tape off a stage, make the students excited to show off, you get that toy microphone. Uh, and then if it works for, for your school and your context, consider inviting in the families, bring in the parents, um, make, create a real audience, bring in another class, an older class, um, and be sure to record. And again, this is a fun activity, it gets students excited, it makes them comfortable, it gives them a reason to practice, uh, and it has some significant impacts on students' reading fluency, most especially where they found the impact was in reading with expression and reading with good and appropriate volume. So if you're seeing students that are struggling with those two things, this is a particular um, best practice to consider using. And so this goes in the category of things like reader's theater, and other similar uh, fluency work. Uh, this is just another way to help students really work on their reading fluency. So, thanks for watching and happy teaching.